Hi. Today we are going to learn how to draw a coyote and I'm going to talk about a story about how the Milky Way and the stars got in the sky. And it's a story about coyote and star maiden. So first I'd like to show you the things that we're going to need, okay? So you are indeed going to need a piece of paper. Mm-hmm, piece of paper. Any size is good, that's good. Uh, a pencil for drawing, right? An eraser for erasing, that's a good thing. I'd like it if you had a Sharpie with a really fine point here, but if you don't, do not worry about it, it's fine. And if you have some colored pencils at home, it can be ordinary colored pencils. What I'm going to be using will be watercolored pencils. And these are the kind of pencils that when you put them in water or after you put them down and you put water on your color, it all blends together like watercolor. Either one will be beautiful. Do not even worry. Either one is perfect. And the last thing that you're going to need is some chalk, ordinary sidewalk chalk. But the colors that I'd like to pick would be the purple and the dark blue maybe a brown or a dark brown and a green or a dark green and we're going to be using that for our sky see here sky and the ground okay so before we get going I want to introduce my friend Coyote here and Coyote has a very long nose you can see with a little tiny nostril at the end here pointy ears and the front part is kind of light colored down in here. Fluffy tail. Fluffy tail. If this coyote were standing, it's laying down now. But if it were standing, it would be very tall. It would be very tall. And the difference between a coyote and a wolf is a coyote is much smaller than a wolf. And it has a pointier nose, pointier ears. Yeah. And then here, I'd like to show you some pictures. This is a drawing of a coyote, and it shows you again the long snout, long legs, pointy ears, and now its ears are pointed forward because it's looking at something over there. Good. Next, and here's another one that shows again the pointy ears, long snout, fluffy tail, long legs, just like that. Oh, good. And then this is my friend coyote. Uh, when I went for a walk in a park one day, this is not very long ago, the coyote, this coyote showed up on the path and walked with me for a very long time. He was like having a, a, a special friend. He was very magical. This is the one that we're kind of going to be drawing. I mean, we're just doing a drawing of it. It's more like folk art, what we'll be doing. But you can see when they when they howl, their ears are back. See, the ears are back. So instead of two cubs, babies, we're actually just going to be doing one. And then look, oh, a baby. There, a little kind of fluffy baby there. Yeah. So I just wanted to show you of what, you know, what, what the coyotes look like. And we're going to be starting with our pencil here. And you're going to start with that one. I'm using a darker pencil so you can see me, right? So we're going to start with a shape, two shapes. This shape here is kind of an oval shape, kind of a fat crayon shape, right? That's going to be the body. And then this, again, is the baby over here. It's going to be a kind of fat oval shape, too. Right, okay. And then at the tippy top will be a small round head, round shape, round circle. Small round head, small round head like that. Yeah. Oh, good. This is looking great. Okay. And then the bottom where the haunches are, with the, where it's sitting and its leg too, is a large circle, larger than the head. Large circle, larger than the head. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And now, this will actually be its like its leg sticking out because it's actually sitting on its leg like this. And then this will be its front legs here. So this leg, it kind of comes out like this, you know, and then it has a paw on the end of it like that. Kind of sticks out like that with a little paw on the end of it, right? And we're just doing shapes. So this is like a triangle, a little circle. And then we're going to go straight down here like a triangle in this direction with a little paw, right? Same here, triangle, 
paw. If you want, you could do another one on this side over here on both sides. And this one may not have any room for that. We need the big fluffy tail. Fluff, fluffy tail. Fluff, fluffy tail. Yeah. Oh, Linda, where's his face? Let's get that face done. So we're just going to go from the top here to a line out, a line out, here, line out, line out. Remember, it has a long snout. Okay, long snout. So we're going to come over here and we're going to give it a nose here. Give it a nose here, right? Okay, but watch what we're going to do. We're going to do a V in here like that, right? And give it eyeball here right? So we're going to do a V in here like that. Give it an eyeball and teeth. Teeth, 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 teeth. I have to have some teeth. Everything, and lot, well, lots of things have teeth. And it does like to eat little rodents and little meat, little neat meat snacks, right? And then remember the ears go back. So we'll give it two ears. That's one ear, two ears, but they're going back. Ear, ear, and they're pointy. And they're pointy, yeah. Well, the next thing I want to do is I want to do the grass. I like to have grass to show that it's the ground. And they like meadows where the grasses are. So you can see that I'm leaving them open. I'm not just going like that. I'm leaving that open because I want to put color in there later. So we're just going to go like this there. And I want you to remember, these shapes are rough. We're going to refine them in just a bit. But I just wanted to get a little bit more of, of the, where this animal is sort of in a meadow. Now we're having a story about stars. So most people like doing a star like this or this is pretty common. However, I like a star like this. This is a kind of a star with a halo on it. And this is what I call a Van Gogh star because Van Gogh is a famous artist who did a beautiful painting called Starry, Starry Night. And his stars look like that because they're really just pinpoints that are glowing. But it's okay, we might put another one of these over here because as long as it's open or hollow in here, we can put color in there. Don't just do like that, okay? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, so I'm gonna do a few. And really, you're the artist. You can do the stars any way you want to, okay? And let's put another one over there. Maybe another one, okay, a little one. Oh, yay. Oh, good. That is the basic structure. But what you're going to do is you're going to be taking your, your pencil, but follow what I'm doing now. You're going to go to the nose, and with your pencil, you're going to make your lines a little stronger. Ear, ear, back. Tail, 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 leg, foot, tummy, leg, foot, all the way up, come down to the lower jaw, go make that V in there, give it some teeth, give it the eyeball, and if you did the second leg at this first this leg in the front here to give that one there and you know what I like I kind of like toenails yeah I do they have toenails I do that okay do the same thing with the little puppy start with the nose go all the way back to ear ear all the way back tail leg foot tummy leg foot come all the way up here to jaw open mouth eyeball and teeth, right? That's it. That's all I need you to do right now. Because the next thing I want you to do is I want you to use your Sharpie. If you have a Sharpie, do not worry if you don't. But I'd like it to be a fine point if you have that, okay? If you don't, don't worry. You can either leave it alone and just leave it in pencil uh, and then wait for me to finish with this part, and we're going to be adding color in a minute. But if you have the Sharpie, start with the nose. Here we go, nose. And then bring it all the way back to ear, ear. And you're tracing over that last line that you did. All the way over here, tail, fluffy tail, 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 tail. Okay, come on over here for foot, 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 foot. Okay, tummy, leg foot, 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 all the way up, 
jaw, open mouth, V inside, and teeth, 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 and eyeball. And then don't forget the nails. I kind of like those nails. Nails are good. They have nails. It helps them learn, probably. Yeah. Okay, here's another nose. Bring it back to ear. Ear. All the way back to tail. A little, little bottom. Foot. A little tummy here. Leg. Foot. All the way up to the jaw. And the V in there with teeth. 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 And eyeball. That's it. That's it for that. Now, leave this alone right now. You're just going to trace over all the places that you did the pencil. Like here, here's some grasses. Let's start with those grasses. Just trace right that right over. Trace right over. Because in a minute, what we're going to do is we're actually going to um, erase the pencil. We don't need that pencil. The pencil were just guides for us. They're just guides, and now we're going to put the permanent marker on, and it's going to stand out, you'll see. So here we are doing the stars there, and the story I'm going to be telling you is called Star Maiden and Coyote, and it's how the Milky Way and the stars got into the sky, and it was done by a friend of mine, Daryl Wilson, and he is the keeper of the Native American legends. And these are legends about how things began. And this is a how things began story, which is wonderful, about Coyote and Star Maiden. And there we are. We are done with that part, and the next part will be the eraser. Okay, so this is important. I want you to get rid of these guiding lines, these guidelines. So, because we want it to be whole, we don't want to see all the little circles in there. That was just to guide us, to help us build our creature, right? So we're just going to come over here, and we're just going to clean up our awesome coyote. Look at that. Looking better already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clean up that coyote. There we go. Over here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they all have character. All of these. Look at that. Big teeth. Mm. <laughs> okay, and we're going to come over here, and it's our job right now is just to get our picture pretty clean, okay? We're just going to get our picture looking pretty clean. Yeah, did I get that? I didn't get that back there. Wait, 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 wait. That's our back leg, didn't I? I forgot that. I got the, I got the nails without getting the leg. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, here we go. Good. So, that's good. That's a very good place. This is a very good place because the next thing I want you to do is I want you to gather your, your colored pencils. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take our colored pencils. They can be the regular colored pencils like this you might have around the house, right? Or the watercolored pencils. Whatever you have, it doesn't matter. The technique is the same. And what you're going to do, I gathered all my browns. I found all, I really like brown. I use a lot of browns because I do a lot of things in nature, which has browns, and I use a lot of greens. So what we're going to do is we're just going to do little short strokes, and I want you to think about layers like onions. Think onions. We're doing little short strokes because it'll be kind of like fur coming in, a little fur happening on there. And we're doing layers. You have to do really a lot of layers. It doesn't matter which kind of pencils you use. Now, I'm kind of leaving this over here. I might even use a little white in here to protect this area. Because remember, it kind of had a white chest area. And I might even put a very light color in here just for now to try to remind or not, not don't let myself cover that area up because it was lighter. It's definitely lighter. Oh, good. Okay, so we're going to keep on putting our colors in. Keep on cutting our colors in for both the animals. Here we, here we got both our animals. Yeah, lots of layers, you know, like 400 million layers. Uh, just a lot. Just a lot of layers. You can't do too many. Can't be, do too many. So while I do my layers, you're going to be doing your layers, right? Okay, so I'm going to be doing layers, and I'm going to be telling the story about a star maiden and coyote. So it begins like this. 
A long time ago, when the earth was getting ready, it was preparing for the children to come. It was getting all ready. Everybody was out getting the earth ready for the children to come. And they were making it beautiful. And one of the one of the creatures that were there was coyote, and another one was a nacodile. And a nacodile is is a visionary. Now, a visionary is somebody who who thinks about ideas. Or they have a kind of like a dreamer. They have ideas and they share that with other people. And sometimes those ideas can can be helpful to bunches of people. So the Enekadel was had ideas. So one day he looked up at the or one night he looked up at the at the sky and he says, "You know what? I really think that we need to have more stars." So he went over and he found Star Maiden. And he said, you know, Star Maiden, I think we need a lot more stars in the night sky. And she said, you know what? That's exactly what I was thinking. And look what I've got. I've got a basket full of stars. Oh, look, look at these beautiful stars. I mean, it took me a really long time. And I am ready to put more stars in the sky. She said, but I need some help. And Anikadel said, well, they looked around and everybody was really, really busy uh, getting the world ready for the children to come. And so he looked around, but then he saw this tail hiding, was sticking out from, from behind a large boulder, a big rock. So he went behind that rock and he saw Coyote sleeping. So he just touched Coyote's nose and said, Coyote, you wake up now. We need your help. And Coyote said, oh. And he says, yeah, we need your help because Star Maiden is going to be putting stars in the sky. And she needs you to hold her basket for her. And Coyote said, oh, do I have to? And he said, yeah, uh, yeah, you do. I said, you know, you're, you're, everybody else is busy. You need to get out there and help too. He says, oh, all right. So that, at sunset, at that uh, Star Maiden and Coyote went over to Twin Mountains and climbed up to the top. And Coyote was holding the basket. And Star Maiden kind of had this big old basket full of beautiful stars. And she slowly stirred the basket with her hand and picked out a perfect star, perfect star, and put it right there. And then twisted it around just so it was just right. And she stood back and she says, oh, that's a beautiful star. I think that's the North Star. And she said, what do you think, Coyote? And Coyote said, oh. Um, but he, he was cooperating in his ways, right? So she picked out, she, she mixed those stars up again and picked out another one and put it up in another spot and just twisted it just right. She said, well, that looks like the evening star. We'll call that evening star. And she said, Coyote, what do you think? Well, Coyote realized that he had to pee. Yup, he had to pee, and he was so embarrassed that he didn't tell a star maiden, and he was just uncomfortable. So he said, could we just hurry this up? And star maiden said, no, no, you know what? This takes a really long time. It has to last a long time and be really beautiful. And Coyote said, oh. So she took that basket again, and she stirred around the stars and picked out just the right one and put it up in the sky and just put it just right and stepped back and looked at it. And Coyote was so uncomfortable. He grabbed the basket of stars and ran to the edge of the world and threw that basket into the sky, just like it was a bucket of water. And the stars scattered across the sky like a river of stars. And that is how the Milky Way and the stars got in the sky. So we look like we're pretty, pretty done with our colors here, huh? Let's go to our stars. Let's just go right up here. This is the stars that Coyote and Star Maiden did. And I want to tell you something about people. And you already know. I know you already know this. Coyote is sometimes called a trickster. 
and, and a lot of you know he's called a trickster in some of these legends or he's considered sometimes lazy he doesn't cooperate sometimes he you know he's you know he even tries to trick people and get the upper hand and you know there's there are people like that yeah, you know that. Yeah, yeah that's true, though. And uh, and Agadell is a is a dreamer, a visionary, somebody who has ideas, and that is wonderful. And Star Maiden is a doer and a maker. She's somebody she just goes and makes these things. And all together, the coyote and Nicodel and Star Maiden made the sky happen. So it really takes all kinds of creatures to make this happen. Anything that you're doing. So look, we have our stars, we have our coyote, and I'm just going to get some colors for our grass here. Is our grass? Oh, you are a good grass. Look at that. So we want to mix our colors. I like mixing the colors because in this case, even if you don't have watercolors, uh, watercolored pencils, you're going to see how beautiful it is when you've mixed your colors. Okay? So I'm just doing a few colors. And that's a, this is the same technique. For, you know, artists use, they put so many colors, so many layers of colors on, they even forget how many layers they put on. And so the very next thing that we're going to be doing, remember the chalk? They yeah, remember the chalk that we're doing? So I'm going to take a kind of a purpley and a blue, and then I'm going to be taking maybe, oh, let's see, what should I do here? I should, let's take a kind of a green and maybe um, a brown. There we go. Good, good. Okay. Yeah. And the next thing, I just have a little piece of paper towel, and I'm just going to kind of fold it in on itself to make and, and twist it and to make kind of a finger because I'm not using my fingers to blend. I'm actually going to be using this. And, and I call it snubby. But what you're going to do is rub it on your chalk till you get a little color on there. And then you're going to come in here and try to stay out of all these places where you already put color in there and don't worry if you if you get inside because we can actually erase it we can so i like to go around kind of in a circle because i want to kind of reflect on the fact that it's like a halo they glow and they have like little halos around them so i just like to do that so i use purple instead of black because I really think the purple is more like the sky, especially if there's bright stars in the sky. You're not going to see black. You're actually going to, you know, there'll be some very dark blues or possibly purples. But I also like the purple and the yellow together. I really like that a lot. So I did a bunch of the color down in here, right? And now I'm going to try some blue because I really like to com combine my colors. Now, I want you to feel that you can take as much time as you need to to finish this. So even if I, I dash ahead, you can finish this easily at your pace, right? I really don't like art to be a race, but I also want to make sure that this is this um, presentation is not too long for you, okay? But you can do this afterwards. So I'm just putting a little bit more color in here. And the next thing here is we have the greens. And they're going to be pretty dark because, remember, it's nighttime, right? And then the browns, I'm doing the same thing here. Brown, little, little, put this little pause on the ground here. Hello, oh, you are the cute little coyotes. Look at you. There. And it doesn't have to be a lot of color, honestly. It's just a taste of color. Now, remember when I was saying that if you get inside your sun's your stars you can actually erase that so I'm actually doing a little erasing making sure that it's pretty clean in there because I want my stars to look awesome right okay here comes the fun part if you have watercolor pencils what you do is you have some water with a little brush and you're going to put that on your watercolored pencil area. If you didn't have watercolored pencils, that's okay. You can either finish up your sky or you can even add more color, more pencil color, more layers. Remember, I was telling you you have to have a million layers, more layers. And we're just going to go do this. And do you see how beautiful it is when all these colors kind of blend? And that makes it your own personal color. Artists spend a lot of time on color, is very important.
And mixing your own colors is important. And what you've done is mixing your own colors, right? There. That cute little coyote here with the big teeth, right? <laughs> there. So, and the other part is we get to just rough out. It smooths out the roughness in here, too. And uh, it just gives it another look to it. There, yeah, it's a combination of pencil and watercolor, and that's kind of wonderful. I'm doing my grass go up, grass grows up, 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 grass grows up, 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 up. Okay, and now we're ready for our stars. Hello, stars, look at you. And I don't mind if the star comes outside of the lines a little bit, because I really think that it kind of does. It's not in a line. It's just kind of bright spots in the sky. And there we go, look. You did this. Oh my gosh. Look at that. There we are. You did this. Oh, good job. So here we are. Coyote and the stars. You did a great job. Awesome.